all right guys today we are going to be talking about popsicle and how to use it so popsicle is actually um an sql editor that lets you write queries and also visualize your data so if you don't have it installed on your computer go to popsql.com and get it installed so when you come on the website click desktop version and now you can get the windows version the mac os or the linux version so i already have it installed on my computer so i'm gonna go ahead and launch the app request for a popsql account and i think i have one so i'm going to connect with my google account since i'm already logged in on the browser it's going to ask me to you know go back to the app because i'm already signed in so i'll click return to the popsql app so it's going to take me back to the app and i'll have to wait a few seconds for the app to open Okay, now that I'm on the app, I think uh, we need to connect our local database because PopSQL actually is not a database, rather it helps you to interact with your database. So I already have uh, MySQL on my computer and I'll need to connect it to the PopSQL. So to do that, I'll click uh, New Connection. So from New Connection, let's select MySQL. So this is actually where we get to configure the um, the database settings and also make sure that it is connected. So before you do this, make sure you have a database and also make sure you know the password to your database. So um, since it's actually a local database, the host name is actually going to be 127.0.0.1. So this is actually the database that we're going to be connecting to because it's actually a local database. So the name of my database is Stock Savvy. The, the username is root and the password is root. So the connection type is going to be local. So if you're connecting to a local database, this is very, very important. You have to toggle this button right here to turn on you know local connection remember if you don't turn it on it's going to be giving you this message localhost is not supported for cloud connections so by default it connects to a cloud database so we have to turn it on to be able to connect to our local database so after this click test to be sure that you are actually connected and the connection is working so once you click test you should be able to see a message that says look looks good on the top of your screen so after this we have to connect finally to the database now we've successfully connected to my database and this means that we'll be able to run queries on the database um see um the data we have on the database so to do that click queries and this is actually where you get to create a new query so I can create a new query right here and the name of the query will be stock serving query. All right, so on this page, I'll be able to run queries. And on this page right here, I'll see the results of my queries. So let's say I want to select all the users in my database and I want to, you know, run uh, the query for just 10 users or maybe 20 users let's say 20 so i'll have to do uh select let me use capital letter select everything from users i'm going to use smaller i uh, here users limit 20. so let's run this and see you remove the limit because by default is uh is set to 100. I'm gonna run this so these are the names of all my users and I can um, you know show just their, um, their first name so these are the names of the people that I have on the database and also you can go to this side of the screen to see your schema 
So here is my database and I can see the tables, I can see the views, I can see all the columns on, the, on each table. And these are all the tables I have in the database. So I think that's it for Popsuper. If you have any question, you can ask in the comment section. And if you like this video and you found it helpful, please click like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.